Greetings fellow Nigerians, wherever you are. As I speak with you as a Nigerian, my heart is bleeding. I don't know how many of you have seen the shenanigans, the word in first class disgrace that Ebola admin Tinubu and his team dished out to us yesterday at Chatham House, London, UK. Bola Ahmed Tinubu gave made a presentation. After his presentation, questions were asked to him based on what he said he was going to do if elected the Nigerian president. Instead of this man to answer his own question by himself, he started delegating people to answer for him. Now, the one that pains me more as a Nigerian was when he was asked how he intend to tackle the issue of insecure of security in Nigeria. He said, arrow fire. The same arrow fire the governor of Kaduna State currently, whose state is now a killing field for terrorists, to come and answer the question on how a Bola admit Tinubu presidency would tackle insecurity. My joy, in spite of all the shenanigans, is that Nigerians have now seen that the same failures in this current administration are the same failures that Tinubu intends to give to Nigerians. Should you make the error of electing him president come 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, my heart is bleeding and I came out to speak to you because no matter how bad I feel or you feel, without doing the right thing, we will continue to sink as a nation and as a people. Nigeria is sick and dying. You and I know that you cannot give a sick patient to a dying doctor, no matter how professional he is. Ladies and gentlemen, Labour Party, Peter O'B, is the one that God will use to rescue Nigeria. The man is frugal. Frugality is what we need in our economy right now. No thieves. When you hear